Rock Talk. I'm your host, Pausa. And we have court host, Kyle. I am Kyle, and we have Jason and Banana Diana from Slick Sharks. And everyone's probably going to want to know how did you get the name Banana Diana? Okay, so I got Banana Diana way, way back when I was five. Um, little boy, I'm going to give a shout out to Danny Robo. He used to tease me every morning before school. And he would sing me a song, he'd go, Banana Diana, whoa, whoa, and he'd make me chase him around the schoolyard. And it stuck, and then my siblings started calling me Banana Diana, so I've had that name, my nickname, since I was five. Mm -hmm. well, it's a very, <laughs> very groovy nickname. Yeah. Fits oh, you, yeah. fits you as a person. Yeah. <laughs> when did the beer get together? You got this, Diana? Um, so we've been playing together for about was about two years as Slick Sharks? Yeah, I would say like around 2015. So, um, yes, we decided we were doing um, cover music before, and we decided we wanted to um, write our own music because we, we both like to write. Mm -hmm. um, and we got sick of playing other people's music. So, we decided we were going to be a original band, and we went in the studio and we started writing and we came up with our album. and. Now that's what we're playing. So it's we we just decided to create the Slick Sharks. We still um, we still do a handful of cover songs here and there. Yeah. Um, the covers thing was kind of like a starting point for us. We we started learning other people's music as a means of okay. Ultimately, we want to be writing our own. So we still keep you know we have like this big library of songs we know, and we do uh, throw a few of those in when we play live. But now we're like very focused on the original music first and foremost. That's really cool. So what instruments do you guys play? I play um, keys, bass, clarinet, saxophone, and I sing. Mm -hmm. And I, uh, I sing and I play guitar mostly. Um, I can play a little bit of drums, I can play bass, um, I cannot play keys. Yeah, I play guitar and I can't play keyboard either. Yeah, yeah, yeah you know, it's like, it's really different. Yeah, it's a lot different. Are yeah. you guys self-taught? Did you guys take lessons from anywhere? Um, well, I took lessons on clarinet and saxophone as a child. Um, mm -hmm. My mother was a professional saxophone player, so she had us all playing instruments. So I grew up playing instruments, and then in high school, she bought a little Casio keyboard, and I wanted to play, so I just taught myself piano. Um, I taught myself bass. I play a little bit on the guitar, a little bit on the drums, but I don't want to considering yeah. <laughs> wouldn't consider me that I know how to play. So it's like a very musical family. We have a musical yeah. family. That's yes. Cool. Yes. My cousins, um, my mother's cousins, they're all piano teachers and they, my father sings, my niece sings, my sister sings. So yeah, they're they're very musical. Uh, I'm mostly self taught. Um, I took a couple, I sang in like school choir and that when I was a lot younger. And I did take a couple vocal lessons, uh, mainly just to learn how to avoid uh, hurting your voice, you know, mm -hmm. straining and that type of thing. But uh, mostly self-taught as a singer, I've been singing since, I've been singing in rock band since I was 13 years old. And then with guitar, uh, kind of the same thing. The only real lessons I've ever had was just being in bands since I was pretty young. Um, I grew up with a lot of, you know, really good guitar players around. So periodically they would sit down and show me some things. And um, different players over the years that I've worked with in different bands, um, there's been a couple times where we've kind of sat down for like, um, you know, what you might consider like a little bit of a more formal lesson, but it was never that formal, you know. Show YouTube too a lot. You yeah. Know, just, mm -hmm. You know, learn the way. Yeah, I just look up whatever yeah. I'm trying That's a good to way out. to learn, kind of. Yeah. YouTube is a very like useful tool that we yeah. have, and um, it's a good way. I wish Definitely it was around way. when I was like 13. Yeah. You know, yeah I might have picked up guitar earlier. I didn't, I um, kind of learned little bits and pieces uh, guitar stuff over the years, but I never really sat down and tried to seriously play the instrument until I was in like my mid-20s. I decided, okay, I need to kind of like focus on trying to really learn some stuff. Mm -hmm. Like um, scales and just like. Yeah, and, and even and different that. chord positions yeah. and just how to like work your way up and down the neck. 
uh, that type of thing. So I wish I had picked it up more seriously earlier because I feel like a lot of the best guitar players that I've worked with all picked it up when they were like 13. Mm -hmm. And I, I, you know, I experimented with it a little bit when I was young, but I wish I had taken it more seriously. But it's never too late, and YouTube's a great way to uh, catch up if you uh, are kind of learning it later on. Um, yeah, just there's tons of lessons. Like I, I'll never feel like I. You can always learn. Yeah. There's like an endless <laughs> amount of knowledge to obtain when, yeah. you, yes. when you're playing an instrument. Yeah, and then yep. you just continue to learn, and then I, I, I just change the way I play as I grow, um, and then I get more efficient, try to figure out ways to um, execute the chords better so that I'm not going up and down the, the board, and then, I don't know, I just, I'm constantly changing and learning when I play. So is Jason. Yep. Okay. What equipment do you use for a live set? Um, well, I primarily play electric guitar. Um, I just picked up that guitar recently, which is a hollow body, so you can get some acoustic-ish sounds uh, out of it. So that's what I'll be using when we uh, perform later. I want to thank you, Paulza, because uh, having us perform today, I understand we're the first live performance you've had on local rock talk so that's that's an honor and uh we appreciate that very much so i no i play um primarily electric guitar uh i play a lot of um gibson uh, and epiphone style guitars i like a les paul uh, sg uh, i got this gretsch which is i really enjoy and i play out of a, a fender amp yeah and i have um i bring my keyboard I usually just plug into the PA. Um, I do have an amp that I use, so it depends on where we're playing. Um, same with my bass, if you know I have my amp. Um, but we don't always have to bring our own PA system. A lot of times we play at places that they have a sound man, so, but we do have a complete PA system too if we need to play a gig that doesn't like have sound. Like for RGs. Yeah, yeah for exactly. RGs yep. we brought, like yeah. My Show. Yes, yep. we have too much show. equipment. Yeah, that, was a very good, that was a very good show. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, we had a blast yeah. and great, great uh, other bands on that. sound quality at the RGs. Yeah. The club, yeah, yeah. And the camera that you took picture. Uh huh. That was from the donation money. Oh, that's awesome, man. That's great. So I'm glad it worked out. That was a good show. So that was with uh, Slow Coyote, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. um, Alex and, and Liz. Liz. Yep. Yeah. Very awesome. good lineup. Yeah, it was. We had a lot of fun. That was a fun night. So for a younger audience. How can you explain how it feels to play a live show? Like, hmm. is there a certain feeling? Is there like a fear that comes in? Like, is there anything you do to prepare for a live show? It depends. Um, honestly, I don't know what makes me nervous and what doesn't. Because um, sometimes I'm completely calm and I have no, no nerves at all. And other times I'm very nervous right before I go on. But once we stop playing, you kind of loosen up. Um, so. It really depends. I honestly don't know what causes my nerves, but the, it's there is something incredible about playing live. You just to, to have the crowd like get into your music when you're performing, and it's almost like I'm in character. Like some other person comes out, like like I'm watching myself perform. I, I just remove my shy personality, and then it just the performer comes out, and it is more fun than anything I've ever done. <laughs> I just I love being on stage, and I love performing. Um, and playing with you know other musicians, it's it's a blast. And then I'm as good as an as a performer as I am an audience member because I I love watching other bands too. So there's nothing like it though when you're on stage. You just it, it's incredible, don't you think? Like don't you just have a blast? I love it. Yeah, yeah. I I go like a little crazy. Yeah, I like to like <laughs> run around like yeah. a, like a maniac a little bit. That's really fun. I like to get out into the audience a lot when I can. And uh, get them to sing along and you know interact. I think that's really fun. Yeah, I like it when uh, performers like you know really try to engage the audience. I, I try not to just kind of stand there. That gets a little boring. You know, I try to like really engage as much as I can. Yeah, and to move people with your music, no matter if it's physically moving them to dance or emotionally moving them or you know making them happy, making them sad. It just it's it's neat to be able to do that to connect with somebody. Um, that you don't even know just through your music. Like you just connect so much to it, it connects to everybody. It's, um, it's rewarding, it's 
humbling. It, it's, it's just incredible. So I encourage all kids to always want to pursue their music, never, never shy away from it. Just go out of your comfort zone and enjoy life. You only live once, so you got nothing to lose up there. Mm -hmm. It's a bad show, you learn from it, the next show will be better. I mean, you just got to do it. What is some of the music you grew up listening to? You got this one or you want me to answer first? <laughs> well, we grew up listening to very similar m music, so in, I like... In some respects, yeah. yeah. Just um, generationally a little bit different. I like 70s, 80s, and 90s, so I mean, I loved Van Halen, Heart, um, all the way up to Chris Cornell, Soundgarden, um, Guns N' Roses, Motley Crue, Peter Ford, Ozzy Osbourne, I mean, I listened to everything. I, all the way to Barry Manilow to <laughs> Linda Ronstadt. I had such a wide, you know, listen to my parents' music, what they're playing. I just love it all, so. Yeah. I listened to a lot of the bands that she mentioned. Not so much into the Barry Manilow and uh, what was <laughs> the, the Linda Ronstadt. Um, but I'll check them out when I get home. I'll YouTube that stuff. But I grew up listening to a lot of that, so kind of like um, a lot of hard rock and metal um, and also I love punk rock like I love mm -hmm. a lot of my favorite bands are punk bands I love the Stooges Andy, and the yeah. Ramones I'm a huge Misfits fan um, I, love the Misfits. I love like tons and tons of punk stuff and I also love just like 70s hard rock that's kind of like that one of my favorite mm -hmm. yeah I love Aerosmith I love ACDC I love Motorhead uh, Black mm -hmm. Sabbath uh, Nazareth I love all that type of stuff, so I really listen to a wide variety, primarily rock, but I do listen to some other stuff. Rock is like all the, always the music that I come back to. That's kind of like what I um, just identify with and, and like a lot. And those old bands and the music I grew up with, I just I I, um, I don't always seek out new music as much as I should, because I know there's always a lot of bands coming up and a lot of new interesting music happening but I just find myself always coming back to a certain handful of bands and that tends to be the stuff I grew up on. Yeah, yeah I just saw GBH and the Casualties at yeah. uh, Brighton Music Hall. Great oh, wow. punk show, great punk show. Yeah. Uh, these guys in GBH, they're old now, they mm -hmm. can still put on a show. They're jumping I off bet. the amps, jumping in the crowd, people yeah. on stage. It was wild. Oh, that's I great. love punk shows. I love shows like that. Yeah. It's great, great times. So uh, if you can like describe the genre of your music or like the sound of your band and the music you play, like what would it be? I, I definitely think that uh, for our latest album, which, which is our first album as Slick Sharks, there's definitely a very strong uh, melodic punk vibe to it. Uh, you'll definitely hear a big Ramones influence. You'll definitely hear a big Joan Jett, uh, The Runaways, that type of uh, melodic but kind of punky hard rock vibe to it. Um, what else do you think, Banana? It, it is. It has, it has a little bit of rock and a little bit of punk, and that's the day. I would say it's a rock CD with a punk edge, so it's, it's got a little bit of both. Then I have a ballad in there that's, I don't know, Beatlesque, I guess. Um, yeah, it does have a little bit of that yeah. flavor. Yeah. So it has a wide range of likes in it. It's not one genre. It's kind of our own style of how we like to play. Mm -hmm. There's one tune on there, Sharks Never Sleep, which I think we might play a little bit later. Oh, um, that's got like a, almost a little bit of a, a reggae vibe to it, which I was not going for. It's just uh, a friend of mine, uh, Paul Zimmer. Paul Zimmer, if you're uh, watching. He encouraged me. He's like, dude, you, you play a lot of you know rock stuff. You use a lot of distortion and, and all that. Like He's like, try writing a song start to finish, just clean guitar. And that's what that song came out to be. And I'm like, wow, this has a vibe I wasn't even attempting. And that's just how, kind of how the song came out and, and it worked, so. That's awesome. Yeah. It's cool if you have like a different genre and almost, like a, every song could have like a little different tone to it. For sure. Which it is really, really cool. Does. And it depends on how we write it too and who writes more of it and where it goes or what mood we're in. So mm -hmm. music just writes itself. I, I don't even know where it comes from. Yeah, it comes from inside. It, it comes I think it comes from uh, the universe. Like I, I yeah. read stuff on my phone that I write up, and I don't. I'm like, how did I come up with that? I don't even know where it came from. It's not from an experience. It's just from nowhere. 
Mm -hmm. Cool. All right. Do you have any advice for a people who want to be musicians? So for, for musicians, if you want to try to be a musician, I, I say just do what you like, go with your gut, go with your intuition, and don't expect your family to support you or your friends. Just, just do what you want to do and practice, 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 and learn as much as you can. Um, and just go for it and you might have your own unique style and that's great don't try to be like anyone else just be yourself and own it don't don't let people discourage you just own your craft and try not to think when you play just try to feel and let you know practice until you have muscle memory um, and enjoy and have fun because you're supposed to be the entertainment when you're a musician. If you're stressed, if you're angry, that's, you know, no one wants to see that. They want you to be having fun and just go out and have fun and enjoy it. And that's what I say. Yeah, and I would just say that um, same thing, just practice as much as possible. Um, get acclimated, whatever comes naturally, whether you're a singer or you gravitate toward guitar. Um, just practice as often as you can, perform as often as you can. Uh, you'll get better and uh, also I would say dig deep into you know whatever music you're interested in uh, check out what those bands listen to and who their influences were because I think you can really discover a lot of really cool lesser known uh, music that way um, I remember like Guns N' Roses and Metallica were like huge when I first discovered rock music and it was through them I would see them with like a Misfits sticker on their guitar or their bass or wearing like a black flag t-shirt and I would seek out those bands and it just opened up all these obscure bands that I hadn't mm -hmm. heard of. So and stick to the roots. Yeah, stick just, to the just roots. go try to discover like what the bands that you're digging at the moment, who did they listen to? Who did they grow up on? And you'll find so much cool music that way. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. I really appreciate the advice. Our younger generation is definitely going to be wanting to have more advice, more time, and more just practicing to be a musician. For sure. So we have Slick Sharks on today, and they got to perform three songs acoustically off their new album that just came out in July. If you want more information about it, you can find it on facebook.com slash Slick Sharks. So get ready to hear some music from Slick Sharks. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. is called Sharks Never Sleep. This is dedicated to Palza. Ready?
The song is called Knock 'em Dead. Can't stop knocking them down. Can't stop knocking them down. This one's called Here Comes Trouble, okay. and it's written about me because if you see me, you better watch out. Yeah. Here comes trouble. And I am a very straight-laced dude. I don't get into trouble, so <laughs> you don't have to worry about me ever. Here we go. Here comes trouble. Headed right down way. Same story, different day. Knocking on more sick, you'll say. Here comes trouble once again. Like a shooting star, you never thought you'd get this far. Here comes trouble once again. Oh, 
is a great acoustic set from Slick Sharks. Three songs by two amazing musicians. If you want to know anything more about Slick Sharks on where to find their music, facebook.com slash Slick Sharks. And thank you for staying tuned to Local Rock Talk. Who are we going to have next on Local Rock Talk, Balza? We're going to have Jail next. Jail? Or Local Rock Talk. Wow, we're going to have a band named Jail. So what do you think about their set, though? It's awesome. Great set. Great, great set. people. Great musicians. Again, thank you for staying tuned to Local Rock Talk. I'm your co-host, Kyle. And I'm your host, Pausa. And rock on. Local Rock Talk. Local Rock Talk. With your host, Pausa. Thanks for watching Local Rock Talk. See you next time.